You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Little Miracles with your host, Penelope. Through her own personal healing, Penelope can transform all aspects of your life through numerous modalities and techniques, including Reiki, energy healing, cranial sacral therapy, and more. So now, please welcome the host of Little Miracles, Penelope. Welcome to Little Miracles. Hello, this is your host, Penelope Neeson. For a little miracles on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. This program, Little Miracles, introduces effective holistic healing techniques you may not have heard of. Today, we're going to discuss more of the self care techniques that we can, things that we can do for ourselves. We'll talk about how they work, why they work, what they work for, and yes, how we can use them for your for ourselves. We're, and we will go through some of them as, uh, as our program uh, proceeds. So last week, we talked about kinesiology. Now, we can use what they call double O-ring technique to get accurate answers from our own bodies. Since our minds don't always agree with our bodies, This gives us a chance to find out what really will help our bodies. Should, for example, should I eat a hamburger and fries or should I eat a salad? Well, you know what? The answer might surprise you. Some days your body might say salad. Some days your body might say hamburger. Here are some of the techniques we can do for ourselves. Now, The double O-ring kinesiology, you you put your index finger and your thumb of each hand uh, sort of together and interlocked inside each other. And then you bring up into your mind uh, what what you want to test. So um, if I'm testing a salad, my, my fingers might very well say strong. And if I'm testing a piece of pizza, well, they might open up, they might break, they might be weak. That is one way that we get answers for ourselves. If you have any questions about the, uh, about the self-care techniques that I'm going to talk about today, please feel free to go to penny at pennyhealing.com or just go to the website pennyhealing.com and leave your questions. Because you know what? The more you know about how to help yourself, the more, the better quality of life you will have and you'll be able to help other people. So we were just talking about kinesiology. Let's go on to gua sha. Gua sha, kinesiology and gua sha we talked about last week. Gua sha helps us release and eliminate toxins from our bodies and reduce pain. Now, uh, in studies, the, uh, the gua sha technique has helped many things that were really more than that. That it's helped, um, it's helped major organ problems like um, uh, hepatitis. It's, it has helped the body to process out the the toxins that uh, hepatitis causes. And it, you know, I think it's unlimited what it can do. And we also talked about ho'oponopono which helps us ask for forgiveness and release any grudges we may have held, thereby releasing the body from toxic emotions that we have held inside. And a little later in this program, we will go through some ho'oponopono practices. 
And then we also did last week, we talked about the fingertip squishing technique, which that, I'm sorry, it doesn't have a really great name because I named it. Fingertip squishing, fingertip, I can't even say it. Fingertip squishing helps us balance six of the 12 regular energy meridians in our bodies, thereby balancing the entire energy system in the body and reducing both physiological and emotional issues. Now, the meridian for each finger is the thumb. The thumb is the lung meridian. The index finger is the large intestine meridian. The middle finger is the pericardium meridian. The fourth finger, the ring finger, the ring finger is the triple warmer or triple heater meridian. And in um, uh, for us in America, we have no real uh, corresponding uh, organ for that. So it's just called the triple heater. It's for the three heated spaces, the head, the chest, and the lower abdomen. Uh, and, oh, well, that's what it's named for. The uh, energy meridians in the pinky are the heart meridian and the small intestine meridian. So, whoops. And then again, uh, last week we talked about the emotional freedom technique, which uses nine acupuncture points that are very powerful. They're either the beginning or the ending of uh, nine energy meridians. We use them to balance out the entire energy system in the face of an emotional trauma. Emotional freedom technique also works for completely physical issues. It is very good for pain, for example. Uh, uh, I guess last week I woke up and my back was really hurting and it seemed like it would be difficult for me to uh, sort of swing around and get up from the bed. So I did emotional freedom technique and all I did was uh, I said, even though my back hurts like a son of a gun, I totally love, accept, and forgive myself. And I did that in the nine places, the nine points for emotional freedom technique. And you know what? Oh my gosh, my pain totally, 100% went away. Now that's not going to happen every time. But that, that day it did. And wow, just amazing. Just amazing what it is possible for us to do. Well, here are some of the techniques we're going to talk about today. Uh, we're going to talk about Reiki because all the techniques we're going to talk about today are techniques that we can do for ourselves. And Reiki is one of the few holistic healing techniques that you can do for yourself. All you need to do is go for training. Find find an accredited Reiki master and Reiki teacher and get them to teach you and you will be able to do it for yourself. Uh, another thing that we can do for ourselves is tracing the energy meridians of the body. Now you'll probably need to go uh, and get uh, pictures uh, of where all the energy meridians flow and which way the energy meridians flow. Half of the energy meridians flow toward the feet and half of them flow toward the head. So it's best to go in the correct direction uh, for, for these energy meridians. But you know what? When I do it, because I, I, you know, I just don't think of doing it that often. But when I do it, I feel like 30, 40% better. I feel uh, more energetic. Uh, I feel less pain or difficulty. You know what? Really, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with any of us? We can do so much for ourselves, but we don't. Well, okay, and that's why the AMA uh, and the drug uh, and the drug companies make so much money from us. All right. So the next thing is, there are certain um, certain um, kinds of acupressure that we can do for ourselves, but I will talk about that in a probably a later program. Also, so the next thing that we can do for ourselves is Qigong, and we're going to go out to commercial, and I'll be back to talk about it. This is Penelope Neeson, your host for Little Miracles on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. 
Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Essential Nutrients, LLC, is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients, LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of Essential Liquid Nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take Essential products today and start to measure the difference. And welcome back. Hello again. This is Penelope Neeson, your host for Little Miracles on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We were just talking about some self-care techniques, and so we're going to continue that because I think it's important, you know? It's important for you to be able to help yourself if you need help. Uh, you don't. We don't have to call 911 every time things seem a little scary. But... I will say, absolutely, if you are feeling scared about some physical or emotional problem you're having, call 911, go to a doctor, go to a physician, and get their help, because that's why they get the big bucks. Get help, get good, accredited help. And other than that, if you feel like it, try some things that will help you that you can help, in which you can help yourself. So we were just talking about Qigong. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Qigong was the precursor of Tai Chi. Qigong, um, like Tai Chi, has certain what they call forms, or where a a number of movements are, uh, are put together, like a necklace, they're put together. Uh, and, and what they do is they actually stretch, uh, stretch the body, stretch and activate the energy meridians in the body to give us more energy and greater flow and um, much reducing any pain. Uh, it's just wonderful. So, but with Qigong, um, I do every day, I do a, a form of Qigong and it's called um, the eight strands of brocade. Let me say that again. The eight strands of brocade. And in that in that form, there are it actually looks more like eight separate exercises. And they each of them takes about two minutes. So if I do Qigong, if I do the eight strands of brocade, I try to do it once in the morning and once at night to free up my energy meridians to free up the the chi in my body <clears throat> to flow where it needs to go, and you know what? Uh, you know I I actually credit doing my chi gong twice a day with allowing me to have as much mobility uh, as I have right now because I am dealing with MS. So chi gong, wonderful. Uh, tai Chi does a very similar thing. Uh, it is another uh, another 
technique that you can do for yourself. Uh, but you, it, it does take a little bit more learning. Uh, I would say uh, getting a, uh, a DVD or going to a class to uh, watch and learn is really wonderful. It, and, and when we go to classes like this, it frees up so much more energy than you would think it would, um, than it can do when we're just by ourselves. The, the class energy is just wonderful. The next technique that is really uh, helpful, really important, is meditation. Now, you can do that in any way you would like. Um, the I find that the most um, effective way of meditating for me is to um, to use some meditation uh, uh, CDs from the uh, from Deepak Chopra and Oprah Winfrey. That's, that's what I usually use. And they take about 20 minutes. And, you know, I just feel like a new person when I do it. Meditation, transcendental meditation, all of it is wonderful and good. And meditation has benefits you would not believe. Meditation has benefits to the physical body, to the emotions, to the mind. And meditation is one of the very few things that will rejuvenate, which is just awesome. Meditation can rejuvenate us. The next, um, the, the next um, technique I would like to, to mention is just plain exercise. If you exercise, that will get your blood moving, get your emotions in a positive, uh, in a positive frame of mind. It will help you so much. Do it. Even if you do one thing a day, even if you sit at the computer and you raise your hands like eight times, you will you will feel better. I know it's weird, but you will. You'll feel better. Next, the next technique is called empowering your physical presence. And that is a meditation technique that I'm going to walk you through a little bit later in the program. And this technique is from the belief net. Uh, the website belief set belief net website and it is really wonderful I have used it uh, over and over again and sometimes it is the only thing that helps me so I strongly suggest that one and the next technique is um, clearing overwhelming emotions and that's something that we're also going to walk through it's a very easy technique in which you feel your emotions and you breathe, and it's kind of wonderful. The emotions actually sort of, hmm, expand through the physical body and out of the physical body, and guess what? They're no longer overwhelming. We'll talk about that one. And next, well, next I just want to mention that there are 10 things, I found this on the internet today, and I think it's great. 10 things to stop doing if you're feeling stressed. So, those 10 things, 10 things to stop doing to ourselves if we're stressed. Stop ruminating. Stop thinking over and over again about what you're scared about what you're angry about, who you want to take revenge on. No, no, no. You don't need those things. Don't need them at all. Stop ruminating. Second, get enough sleep. Now, I know I don't get enough sleep, unfortunately, but because I like to get up and take pictures of the sunrise. But I should, you know, there is something to be said for a power nap, in the middle of the day or the end of the day. So think about getting enough sleep because if you get enough sleep, your body will be able to deal with a lot more things than it can deal with without the sleep. And this is your host, Penelope Neeson, on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio with Little Miracles. We'll be right back. 
animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Welcome back. This is your host, Penelope Neeson, bringing you little miracles on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We were just talking about the 10 things to stop doing if you are stressed out. We started with stop ruminating, stop thinking about the negative. Two, get enough sleep or even get more sleep. And three, stop eating junk. Now, I'm really bad at that. Because I really like my junk, I have to admit. Stop eating junk. Eat more salad. Eat more fruit. All right, well, I'll try. Number four, stop leaning on frenemies. Now, it took me, I had to look at it twice before I realized exactly that it was really a word. Um, Although maybe not a word. Frenemies. People who look like friends, but they're really enemies. Stop leaning on people that you're doubtful about. Don't tell them, don't tell them everything because you want them to like you. No. Talk to people who you really, totally, 100% trust because frenemies are not, they're not good, they're not good pa, they're not good magic, they're not good mojo. Don't do it. Talk to people you trust Completely. Even if you have to call your aunt in Washington, do that. Don't mm-mm. just because somebody is nearby doesn't mean that they are trustworthy. Be good to yourself. Number five, stop overloading your schedule. I'm afraid I'm really bad at that too. But because I, you know, I want to, I want to get every last drop of life in. But you know what? It would really be good if I got a little bit of sleep in the middle. Stop overloading your schedule. Stop your cognitive distortions. Okay, stay with what's real. Stay with with what's real in the moment. And don't don't you don't have to worry about what's real in the moment because you know, no matter what's going on around you, you are a constant. Feel your feet. Eliminate distortions. Don't don't try and fantasize and go somewhere else. Just be here. Just be here now. Number seven. Stop putting off exercise. Now I'm also really bad at that. And when I exercise, I feel so much better. Now, if you think that if you're having trouble with that, try go to, going to a gym. Try going to a workout center where people are 
working out so there are others who can support you. And if that's not enough, get a personal trainer. Get somebody who you've made an appointment with and you have to exercise. That's, to tell the truth, that's what I'm doing now. And that, you know, I just feel so much better. Stop, number eight, stop all the negativity. Now, you know what? You or me, if we go, if we are worrying, if we're worrying, if we're thinking negative thoughts about something, oh, she'll never be able to do that for me. Things like that. That doesn't help. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. No, it doesn't help. <laughs> so stop it. Stop negativity. Number nine. Stop missing any opportunity. Do not let opportunities get by you because, oh, I wanted to be home with my husband or, oh, I, I you know, I didn't want to um, make my friend uh, think that I couldn't help her. No. If you say, hey, you know, George, I really want to try this thing. I really want to try it. And you know what? They'll probably support you. Yeah, and you can just ask them that right out. Would you support me if I do something new? And number 10, number 10, don't ignore your stress. If you feel stressed, go get a cup of tea. Go take a nap. Go get something to eat. Do things that will calm you and make help you get centered. Because that's what it's all about. Now, we talked a little bit about gua sha last week. So let's talk a little bit uh, about gua sha again now. Gua sha is typically performed by a probing and smooth-edged instrument across the skin, across the skin surface, where a, sub- where a subcutaneous injury or imbalance resides. So if you have a sore spot, that's where you do the gua sha. When treatment is effective, a distinctive reddening of the skin or little red dots known as sha, and those are the toxins coming to the surface, the, the sha up here, this is a positive response and brings the immediate and lasting benefit of dispelling what they call wind or negativity, negative uh, toxic chemicals, and reducing heat and inflammation, eliminating coldness, and releasing pain from the superficial and deeper levels of the body. Gua sha is used to treat many acute and chronic health problems, including colds, flu, fever, headache, indigestion, dizziness, injury, joint pain, fibromyalgia, and heat exhaustion. I mean, really, could could this technique possibly be used for more things? It is, um, it is also commonly performed to relax tight and aching muscles and to relieve tiredness and fatigue. Well, I can attest to that. I, since I read this last week about uh, gua sha, I've been doing gua sha on my, uh, my right leg. Oh, excuse me. My right leg has been having an issue with spasming. And, you know, it's just annoying. I mean, you know just annoying. You know, uh. So I I was doing the gua sha and you know, I, I started after doing gua sha for about two minutes uh, and each place that I was uh, performing uh, that, uh, my leg, I don't know how to, t- <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It just started glowing. And, uh, you know, if my leg could smile, it would smile. So it's uh, really an amazing thing. If so, the way gua sha works, oh, uh, well, we're going out to commercial again, and I will talk to you about gua sha and how it works when we get back. This is your host, Penelope Neeson, on TuneIn Radio and BBM Global Network for Little Miracles. We'll be right back. 
French Rastafarian baker Chef Oug Mat is a fourth generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations and classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Chef Ouvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Ugmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefoug.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Global Glory, that's the work of Dr. Marina McLean, COO of Global Glory, whose calling is to serve God. A first-generation British-born Londoner of Jamaican descent, Dr. McLean inherited the hunger for the word from her father, who was a Bible teacher. Growing up, her home was filled with missionaries from the Caribbean islands and America, and she travels the world preaching the gospel. She has a Bachelor of Arts degree in theology and an honorary doctorate of divinity and Christian counseling from Friends International Christian University. Dr. McLean is also a songwriter and recording artist, and her songs are written during summits and conferences in the presence of God. She's recorded three worship albums to date and is in ministry for 28 years alongside her husband, Dr. Rennie McLean, who shares her passion. Visit www.globalglory.org or on Facebook at Global Glory. Call 866-244-5679 and feel the glory. Welcome back. This is your host, Penelope Neeson, bringing you little miracles on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So we're talking about more self-care techniques. We talked about uh, some self-care techniques last week, but we're talking about more of them now. So here's a, we're going to do a, a, a little bit more about Ho'oponopono, which is a um, Hawaiian and South Sea Island um, technique of forgiveness. So here is some information about that. In many Polynesian cultures... It is believed that a person's errors, called hara or hala, cause illness. They cause illness. Some believe that the errors anger gods, and and for others, that it uh, errors attract malevolent malevolent spirits. And still others believe that guilt caused by the error makes one sick. Well, in most cases, however, uh, the uh, specifically Ho'oponopono unties, undoes the error and, and helps the person to atone for the errors that they have been uh, bringing forward, thereby dimin- diminishes one's accumulation of those errors and illness. Among the islands of Vanuatu in the South Pacific, people believe that illness usually is caused by misconduct or anger. If you're angry for two or three days, sickness will come, they think, said one local man. The therapy that counters this is confession. The patient or a family member may confess if no one confesses to an error, the patient may die. The Bana, Bana, Ban, oh, I can't even say it. Vanuatu people believe that secrecy is what gives power to illness. When the error is confessed, it no longer has power over the person. Now, I was thinking about that, and I thought, you know what? I should just say some things out loud. Really, because if if secrecy has a negative power to create illness, well, you know what? I don't think I need it. I don't need it. Everybody's going to get over it, I think. Go to Penny at PennyHealing.com or to PennyHealing.com and let me know what you think. 
like many other islanders, including the Hawaiians, people of Tikopia and the Solomon Islands in the Cook Islands, believe that the sins of the father will fall upon the children. If a child is sick, the parents suspected of quarreling or of misconduct in a it, it, well, that's who is that's who you look to. In addition to sickness, social disorder could cause sterility. Woo, of land or disasters. Harmony would be restored only by confession and apology. So, let's go to the Ho'ono Ho. Ho'oponopono. So let's take a, a minute to do some Ho'oponopono. This technique is very simple. Bring to mind someone who you think is angry at you. And you know what? Sometimes that person could be you. I did Ho'oponopono for myself earlier today and it just about made me cry. So that's the kind of thing that needs to be released. Bring up someone who you think is angry at you and just hold them in mind and hold the event in mind that you think they're angry at you about. Holding that in mind, then start with, dear the person who you're thinking about, dear person who I'm thinking about, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And you know what? Let's do it a second time because it often, well, it makes me feel better when I do it two or three times. Bringing the person and the event to mind. Dear person, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And please feel free to let me know how you felt when that when you were able to do that. Uh, again, that's at pennyhealing.com. Now, our our self care uh, our self care techniques usually safe. Well, yes, they are. Now, if you do get a positive, um, if you get negative results when you're working with a self-care technique, please consult a physician immediately. If you're having a medical emergency, go to the emergency room. If it's not an emergency and you feel like you can work work with the technique or use some general self-care techniques to bring the problem down to a more manageable level, then do that, but go to a physician after that, as soon as it's convenient for you to do. Okay. So, we're going to go move now to a technique for clearing overwhelming emotions. Now, this also is a fairly simple technique. Ho'oponopono really takes about a minute to do. This technique takes about the same or less. This is... um. Clearing Overwhelming Emotions. Now, I learned this technique uh, actually um, in on a Sunday service. The minister uh, shared it with us. So I am sharing it with you in the hopes that, that it can help you and create uh, positivity where negativity used to be. So let's start. Whenever you feel like emotion is overwhelming you, Just feel it all fully. Feel it all fully. Even if it seems scary. Even if you think you may die if you feel it all. Because ah, we're going to go out to commercial and we will come back to clearing overwhelming emotions. This is your host, Penelope Neeson, for Little Miracles on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back to work on clearing overwhelming emotions. 
Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkali, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. And we're back. This is Penelope Neeson, your host for Little Miracles on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We're talking about a technique for clearing overwhelming emotions. Now, working with overwhelming emotions can really can sound pretty scary. You know, I mean, really, sometimes you think if I'm if I'm going to feel it, I'm going to drown in it. But no, no, you're not. You're not. And you're not going to die. Just feel it. Just if you can feel your feet so that you're grounded and just let it come. Let feel whatever it is. Let the emotion come up. Let it crying or whatever. So let's try it again. Number one, whenever you feel like emotion is overwhelming you, just feel it fully. Feel it fully, even if it seems scary. Even if you think you may die if you feel it all. Just feel it. Just feel it. It's okay. Feel it fully and then breathe deeply. And stay with it. Stay with it. Breathe deeply. Take another deep breath. And another. And another. By feeling and breathing deeply, the emotion is literally expanded out past the boundaries of our bodies and into the universe. Let me say that again. By Feeling the overwhelming emotions and breathing deeply, the emotion is literally expanded out past the boundaries of our body and into the universe. Now do this deep breathing until you feel the emotion leaving your consciousness, leaving your body. And you can do this as many times as you would like if you feel like you need to finish Letting this emotion out, because that's all it is. Emotion is energy in motion, and we are helping it, helping it leave our physical bodies. This is a great technique for releasing overwhelming emotions. So let me say it one more time. Whenever you feel like an emotion is overwhelming you, feel it fully. Next While you're feeling it fully, breathe deeply like four or five times. And you will feel it leaving your body, expanding the boundaries of your body, moving past your body and out into the universe. By breathing and 
by feeling it and breathing deeply, the emotion is literally expanded out past the boundaries of the body and into the universe, thereby leaving us in balance, which is just awesome. So the next technique uh, was on uh, the BeliefNet website, and you can look it up. It's called Empowering Your Physical Presence. You can look that up on Google anytime, and you will go right there to this uh, little meditation. Now, uh, for this meditation, let me walk you through this little meditation real quickly. I'll, actually, I'll walk you through a part of it, and then you can do the rest. So you place your hands together in prayer possession, in prayer position. Um, you ask the universe for healing and balancing and purification. Your hands become warm. Feel your hands become warm and know, just know inside that they are filled with white light. Concentrate on your hands filled with this light and ask your guardian angel or higher power to help you find health and balance. So as you place your hands on each body part, feel and see that body part infused with glowing white light. So we start with, place your hands on your right leg and say, I heal and purify myself with the divine light and then tone along OM. OM. Then we do the same thing for the next place. Place your hands on your left leg and say, I heal and purify myself with the divine light. OM. Next, place your hands on your right shoulder and say, I heal and purify myself with the divine light. Om. Now this goes on, you do your right shoulder, uh, your right shoulder, your left shoulder, your upper belly, your and your heart. And you place your hands in prayer position on top of your head and bring them together in front of you. Feel the white light pour through your body, filling you with healing and balancing light. And say, I heal and purify myself with the divine light. Om. And now touch the ground with your hands and see all the negative energy that you have banished from your body with the white light. See and know that that energy negative energy is flowing into the earth and offer a prayer to heal yourself and there we go so that is that is how to empower your physical presence So now we are going to go to, if I can find it, ah, yes, meditation. Meditation is such a wonderful, such a wonderful uh, practice because meditation allows us to rejuvenate our physical bodies and our emotions and our minds. So this is a uh, part of an article from Kathy Wong, a naturopath, and it goes like this. Although meditation is often practiced for spiritual purposes, the benefits of meditation also include greater physical and mental relaxation. Due to these calming effects, meditation is thought to protect against a number of stress-related health problems. Now, what does meditation involve? Oh, well, you know what? We're going to go out to commercial, and we will be right back. This is Penelope, your host for Little Miracles on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. 
We'll be right back. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists, and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various businesses interest through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. Welcome back. This is Penelope Neeson, your host for Little Miracles on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We've been talking about self-care techniques. Now, there are a zillion of them, but I only talked, gee, I only talked about 15 of them. Uh, You can Google the idea, you can Google self-care techniques, you can um, Google self-care techniques, holistic techniques, and you can find some wonderful information. So we had been talking, we had been talking about, oh my gosh, we had been talking about Gua Sha, which is a uh, more of a massage kind of thing that can be done with an, uh, with an implement, like uh, a spoon or uh, uh, the back of a comb, or some real Gua Sha uh, instruments from China. Um, and gua sha can really, really help. It's amazing uh, with pain and dysfunction, you know, and it's easy. We can do that for ourselves or we can go to a practitioner to do that. There is fingertip squishing because the fingertips are the beginnings and endings of six of the energy meridians in the body and will balance all of the other uh, Energy, energy meridians in the body uh, to, to, well, really, when I do it, I just feel plain better. Then there is Ho'oponopono, which really helps with um, forgiveness and the, um, the physical illnesses that can come from guilt, actually. Then we, we have done a lot about the emotional freedom technique, which also works both on emotions and the physical body. And then next we talked about Reiki, and now we, we've talked a bunch about Reiki. Uh, and, but, and it's one of the few holistic healing art forms that we can learn to do for ourselves. Also, there is tracing the meridians. Now, what that means is when you get a a photograph of how the energy meridians flow, just put your hands around where they are and in the direction of their flow and go with them. It's just amazing. Now, acupressure. There are some, I I didn't bring that with me today, but there are several acupressure techniques that you can do, that we can do for ourselves. 
And you know what? When I've used uh, that acupressure, it has been really wonderful. And finally, well, not finally, next is Qigong, which uh, has a number of forms, one of which is for healing. Qigong for healing is the eight strands of brocade. And that is so, has, well, it's been invaluable to me in my uh, life. Tai Chi is a longer, uh, more, more dance-like form that uh, I did a long time ago, but give it a go because it's really good. Uh, meditation, do try meditation because meditation is rejuvenative. If you meditate, your mind, your body, your nerves, your blood vessels, your heart, everything will be better, will work better. Um, next is empowering your physical presence that I shared with you. Go find that on the internet, on the BeliefNet um, uh, website. Because, you know, every time I have used Empowering Your Physical Presence for myself, it has helped me immeasurably, immeasurably. And, of course, you know, there's all kinds of things like just plain exercise. So find, find a form that works for you. Find a form that works for you, that appeals to you. And try it out. And when you're having problems... Do that. Do that form. Do that form because one, it'll give you something to do. Two, it'll give your mind some place to go that is in a positive place. And thank you for listening to Self Care. This is Penelope, your host on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Have a great week. This has been Little Miracles with your host, Penelope. Tune in each and every week to hear Penelope as she helps you design a life in harmony with your soul's purpose in order to live life to the fullest, only on Penelope's Little Miracles. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.